Now, I mentioned national security there. I mean, Australians are so naive sometimes. In fact, I was reminded of that uh, last night by the ABC. I mean, they did a piece about uh, all these hack attacks and scams that we seem to fall for so easily, so many of them from China and from Russia, of course. In fact, we fall for them so easily that we're getting ripped off to the tune of $3 billion a year now. And the ABC last night asked one hacker, a Russian one, why he saw Australians as such an attractive target. And his response was brutal. Look at this. Yes, let me tell you something. Australians are the most stupidest humans alive. So pretty strong language there. And they have a lot of money for no reason, a lot of money and no sense at all. No, I wouldn't actually say stupid. I'd say naive. I think Australians traditionally have been naive. And part of that is actually quite nice. It's because we haven't wanted to insult people, especially people of different races, by suspecting the worst of them. And for years, we weren't used to rip-off merchants either. This, of course, was well before the NDIS, for instance, which is now being rorted sideways. We'll have more on that too. But here's another wake-up today. Stop being so naive, especially about communist China. Stop just thinking of panda bears and the Great Wall and dim sim. I mean, wakey, wakey, this is really a dictatorship. It really is something like Nazi Germany or Stalin's Russia should be treated as such. Except, of course, it's even worse because it's got much tighter internal security. And not just that. It really does want to control people even here or in America. In fact, a freedom think tank called Safeguard Directors last year warned China had more than 100 secret police stations in more than 50 countries. And now American authorities have arrested two Chinese residents in New York City that they say were running one of these secret police stations in New York's Chinatown. They're reporting back to Chinese officials and operating with a circle of suspects. And that was according to the U.S. attorney for the uh, Eastern District of New York. The defendant's actions under the direction of the Chinese government are flagrant violations of American sovereignty. And thanks to our investigation and arrest today with the FBI, the defendants will be held accountable and the MPS is on notice that we will not tolerate similar threats to our national sovereignty. But Safeguard Director says, well, actually, there are many more such secret police stations, including two in Sydney. And they don't just do innocent things like uh, helping with passports or administration. People tied to these stations, officially charged with monitoring people, um, you know, measuring their sentiment, controlling their, their opinions, um, but even threatening them, harassing them, intimidating them. Now, Australian Federal Police have said uh, to Sky News today, well, look, don't worry, they've got no concerns about uh, these places. And look, maybe there isn't anything to worry about, or maybe they're just uh, playing sneaky. But I tell you what, we can be so naive, can't we?